Mazza. A very good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, let me present to you some of the facts that we have collected. I'm not a PR man, I'm sorry. So I'll take the glitter out and just give you the rough facts. But unfortunately, we are just what you call silent or dumb audiences because people keep telling me, hey, everything is done, sealed, done and sealed in. You cannot do anything. Then, what is the purpose of having elections to elect a government? When some people say, the government has done it, therefore it's right. You cannot question the government. Anything you question the government, you are anti-government. Hey, sorry. We are here just to give our views. We are not here to look for trouble. In fact, today we are going to agree with the previous presenter almost all the way. Huh? We are not against development. We appreciate, admire, and and the, uh, admire the great development plans drawn up. Beautiful. No question about it. And we want the resorts and hotels to be built. They have four resorts or five resorts at home. They want to build. We want it to be built. We are only against unsustainable development. Is that too much to ask? Unsustainable. Look at the world, global warming, climate change, and you still don't want to learn from it? Yes, I know, fools rushing where angels, even angels fear to tread. Huh? We only say that the site must do justice to the plans drawn up. We want the resorts and hotels to be built. We only ask that you take the resorts and hotels away from Tanyangaru. Take them to the beaches of the south or north, all the way to Sipitam, all the way north to Koda. We have no objections as long as you follow procedures huh? and the construction is environment friendly. Sabah has abundance of land. Huh? Why then reclaim 439 acres more, more, more or less? Why do you reclaim? What will people say? Won't they laugh at us and say, Hey, are you crazy? You have so much of land, why do you reclaim? We are, you are not Singapore, Hong Kong. Why? I have no answer. You answer it. Points to consider, which has been raised. Beach erosion, beach in poor condition, polluted, new... It doesn't exist. That again, I won't answer. It's up to you. Beach erosion. Let's look at it. Tanyangaru originally had high quality sand, clear water. This is from TAD. Eh? It is now polluted and the beachfront has receded approximately 50 meters. I don't know where. If you say Kampong Chonto, on the other side of the runway, yes. And I'll tell you why. It was caused by the airport extension. They did it. In fact, the airport extension started without an EIA. Then somebody queried, hey, where's the EIA? Then they started doing it. That's how things work here. You need some dumb guy to say, hey, why don't have this, why don't have that? Because the smart guy always keeps quiet. If I can keep my mouth shut and make that extra buck, why should I? That was from a famous lawyer telling a famous dentist. Next. This is what real serious illusion looks like. But don't worry, huh? this is not an angle. That is somewhere in Chungano. Uh, Pantai to Jumba. That's real erosion. In Tanyangaru, there is no serious erosion. Erosion. There is erosion a little bit near to the runway extension, and that is actually partly being tackled by the runway people. You see all the sea walls, this and that. And with a little bit of extra money, it can be done. In fact, the consultant I met previously from DAD, uh, sorry, DHI, he said all you need is money. It can be tangled. It can be tackled. You don't need to reclaim. Next. This is Tanyangaru. This is your beach. This is how it looks. The top picture is how it looks like now. The bottom picture, how it looked like in 1950. Still the same. Next. Same. Uh, this is the present Tanyangaru. You look at first and second beach. Actually, the beach is building up. Uh, recreation center has actually experienced a build up and the shoreline has been extended se several meters. How can you say there is erosion? Of course you can do, go to one place where the sea has eaten a little bit, take a photograph and say, look, there is erosion. Uh, either you save or Tanyangaru is gone forever and they can get front page. You know, news. I don't know how. We, we give them the answers 
the, the, the newspaper sometimes refuse to publish. They put one click and put one small corner there, make us look so bad. That's the media. Huh? The people speak on us and they say it's raining. That's the media sometimes. <laughs> Prince Philippa also has actually experienced build up on the shelves. Yes, as I said, mentioned earlier. Next. Ah, this one, I have to explain to you. This was actually not erosion. This was some smart alec, Borneo Hotel before. When they saw, you see, I have to tell you this. The build up and erosion is seasonal. Uh, southwest monsoon from late May to September, they send wash off. Huh? Then from uh, northeast monsoon from November to March, they send bill up. So this guy probably saw during the bill up, hey, there's so much of sand, maybe I can get some extra land. So all those done by Ponyo Hotel, hoping to get some extra land. But nature finds its own way. It has a, it finds its own shoreline. So you, it looks as if there's so much of erosion. No, it wasn't. It was nature showing people don't play play with nature. <laughs> DDKK has been doing some work, not enough work, but some work. They clear the outlet so that the sewerage can flow into the sea. <laughs> so flow into the sea. Huh? They don't have to build septic tanks, sewerage treatment plants. No need. It's easy way. So there are several uh, uh, drains that actually pour out into the beach and it's a dirty beach. I agree with the presenter, the beach is dirty, the beach is polluted and the park itself is not that well kept. Yes, all pointing to our local government. What kind of government do we have? Incompetent or irresponsible? I will answer. You answer it. The existing beach is in poor condition, yes, polluted. And due to the overcapacity of sewage, uh, water discharge escapes into the sand in foreshore. Uh, all the black sand, now you see it's because of this. And they have never taken the... They have never taken the trouble to uh, uh, solve it. Here, you have more and more uh, hawker stores and all coming up without proper sewage treatment plants. So, the beach gets dirtier. Remedy. Actually, uh, the state government, the local government just cannot do by themselves. So they had this centralized sewerage system and they build pipes, uh, whatever you call it. In fact, there is one coming right up to Tanyungaru town. Why, why didn't they connect up to the nearby beach area and the government quarters and so on? I don't know. Uh, for reasons known only to themselves, they don't want to do the extra job or probably even though the money was allocated after doing half the job they say budget finish but originally the budget for the was for the whole project how can budget finish halfway it happened to my housing and um, water department they changed the pipes halfway in front of my house they didn't change i say why budget harvest <laughs> hey, how can budget harvest the budget was for the whole project or oh, you wait next year but we waited six years uh, indication of location of waste interception line, interceptor lines. I won't go too much into technical.
Okay, new Prince Philip Park. Uh, just to play with numbers, the present pr Prince Philip Park is 14 point something acres. But actually, taking if you add the what you call the shore reserve, foreshore reserve, we have about 42 acres left of foreshore reserve. If you add that together, we have about uh, 40, 50, 60, about 60 acres. You know, at the moment. So how can 27 acres be more than that? Because people are actually using the whole area. Even you go to the traffic game area, they're using it as part of their public area. Even the third pitch, which is most popular with young people, or even the old young couples. Huh? You know. <laughs> Sabahans know, especially KK people, they know. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. I'll try to be quiet. Go ahead. So this is all historical, you know. In 1963, the state government gave the 85 acres of shore, for shore reserve to the local authority. Then uh, this year, they took it back for reasons known only to themselves. Uh, because actually, for shore reserve, uh, recreational reserve for local people should be under local authority. So they already had all these grand designs. They absorb all this to put into a master title or master uh, plan. Okay. Ah, this is 1972. I was there, but not at that spot. We were lining up from the traffic light to the airport. This is very close to the airport. Uh, Prince Philip came with Queen Elizabeth, and that is why you have two famous landmarks in appreciation, not empty handed. Huh? They paid for it. Queen Elizabeth Hospital, that's why they cannot change the name, and Prince Philip Park. They paid for it. That's why it carries their name. Uh, for those uh, students, the name Kota Kinabalu actually was changed on 22nd December 1967. Before that, it was just open for information only. All this about uh, this is this is the traffic games place. Okay. It is beautiful. All you need is some cleanup, some touch up, some upgrading. The remaining 23 acres of foreshore reserve. It's beautiful. All we need is a little bit of money. And money should not be a problem. You read the papers. People sing praises of our state government. How great our government is. How great our chief minister is. How much he's bringing in. Billions. Hey, what is a few? Maybe you give me a few million dollars, I can upgrade it. At the moment, even two, three hundred thousand, they cannot spend to keep it clean. Uh, this is all historical. The rugby field is historical. Talk to old timers, Spanish other people. They'll say, hey, I had all my sweat there in the rugby field. Not just playing rugby, but football and so on. My father used to talk about the rugby field. But that's heritage. To some, heritage, environment, Zero. Green, yes. Money. Green, money. Uh, up. Next. We should not allow Prince Philip Park to disappear under private development. That's told by Victor Wong, the Pen uh, Sabah chairman. I hope he still keeps to his words. What's your money you have partners? Family, okay. The new, okay, before. The new beach, beautiful pictures given to you. If it is really sustainable, it's a different issue. But I would always prefer a natural beach. I won't talk about God. I would prefer a natural beach anytime to an artificial beach. But anyway, the artificial beach is unsustainable for two reasons. Number one, cost-wise. Your consultant has said it costs $45 million every year to maintain the beach and the park. But our engineer who made the costing works up to about 56 million and the cost will keep rising because cost of transport increases cost of the same and the second one so the cost wise 45 million even if they find 45 50 million every year maybe some it drops from the sky they can find it good same wise is it going to drop from the sky also no actually according to their report is from Palembangan but Palembangan comes under the Marine Park Reserve. Are you going to rob it, rape it of the fine sand? For how long? When the sand is finished, because you have to replenish every year. Not just once. Hey, it lasts forever. No, 
every year. That's why the cost is very high. And I salute their consultant for putting the true fact there, even though it's a bit down, but still it's a true fact. You need to replenish the sand every year, almost every day, if necessary. Public access for your information is limited. It may be free, as they say, for how long, we don't know, because government can say one thing today, another thing tomorrow. No increase in fuel price. Who said that? You know, but then fuel price keeps increasing. So it's just an example. There is only one entrance for the public to the beach, and it's over a bridge. If the cost of maintaining cannot be maintained, then would you be asked to pay? Again, open up to you to answer. Next, I, I just skip through all this. Land use, you know, most of it, 32%. Doesn't mean 68% is, they say, public domain. Doesn't mean you can go to the golf course and have a picnic. Can you? No. no. Because public domain, it's a play with words. Even the uh, leader of the what, Realty, what, Sabah Housing Developers Association, Francis Go or something, Wow, I was so happy. First time we have 68% public space. I think we didn't realize what is public domain. It's a new terminology among developers, probably. Ecological and environment friendly development. Is it ecologically and ecological and environment friendly de development if you have to reclaim the sea to create land, to create a beach? Ask yourself. Look up in the dictionary what ecology means or ecological means. Uh, the adverse effects of beach. Uh, it's going to be very bad when they start dredging. Ah, back to nature, yes. The finished product. But I always say the means must justify the end. If you want to create some good, you must do it the right way. You cannot kill all the people in the world so that no bad people and there's one good man standing. <laughs> Again, this is the responsibility of the government. If you have a child, if someone has a child, whose responsibility is it to look after the child? The parent or people on the street? You, you ask yourself, you cannot have a child running wild, doing all the damage and the way, when the parent asks, oh, I cannot look after him. I have no money. In the end, I say, he says, I have to sell my child to maintain my child. This is just like what is happening to Tanimaru. We have no money to maintain, so we have to reclaim and develop and build golf courses and resort hotels. You yes. have one minute. Okay. And there's a lot of beautiful things. Infrastructure development and cost. Actually, our consultant who studied it said the cost is more than three billion. Uh, but if you know about cost overruns of the government, by the final time it could end up three, four times, or even five times, or even ten times. Almost. Ah, uh, you want to compete with Cebu, Bali, Sanya? Very good. But uh, are they all reclaimed beaches? Just come on, uh, give some respect to people. Uh, you want to compete on equal footing. You don't reclaim and say, oh, we have the best beach in the world. Most tourists are looking for natural places, quiet. So take your hotels to Papa Beach, Kuda Beach. Uh. Alternative de development. As I said, take your hotel somewhere and look at this. Where is this? Central Park. So beautiful. Do you want something here? Yes? Next one. Stanley Park. Do you want something as beautiful as this here? Yes. Third one. Yes, you can have it. And this is not Australia or what? This is Likas Bay only. <laughs> you can do it if you have the heart, the will. But if you have the... Malays have a nice word. Nia. I mean, what is your intention? What is your intention? Your real intention? Is it to help the people, the riot, the state? Or is it to help somebody? You don't mention me, but you know. So the niat is important, the intention. Okay, let me read this. Thank you, everyone. Terima kasih. Terima kasih.
for giving us an opportunity to share with you our views and alternative visions. Where there is a will, there is a way. This deciding factor is intention or near. Let them search in their hearts. You know, does do people come first or profits? Think it over. Thank you. Thank you.